go. You love me. Dude, are you five? Yeah, five inches deep in your mom. <gasps> Okay, this is the KN N3, um, a company that I'm familiar with for a few years because of the KN C5 amplifier, and then they moved from amps to amp dat combos, and then they moved into DAPs. Um, I, I loved the amp. I didn't like the i5. There's a lot of people that don't like it, and there's a lot, a lot of people that do like it. So, you know, taste and opinions. Um, this is, an, this is interesting because when I first got this and was listening to it, I was absolutely unimpressed. Um, and I can't quite explain to you why that is. Uh, if I demoed this inside of a music shop, I think I would have just passed and walked away. Um, and I, I don't know why that is because I sat down last night and had a really good listen to it uh, and was comparing it with uh, the this one, which I'm going to review, and also with what is my standard rig right now, which is the... Um, X5 3rd gen and just for the hell of it uh, $900 Calyx M uh, and also I have another one that I'm not supposed to show people so I won't um, and it's actually closer to this one's price range um, so my initial impressions of this were like uh, wow okay um, yeah and uh, last night I sat down and had a I guess I was very relaxed and decided to just listen to um, I was listening to Michael Jackson I, I'm not really a Jackson head uh, but some of the some of the recording qualities of some of his stuff is really really high it sounds really good if you've got a good file of it um, and I was listening to this thing with Michael Jackson and listen to this with Michael Jackson and also listen to the Calyx M with Michael Jackson which is not fair uh, but you know what is fair um, I just want to get a kind of a reference what is the gap between something that's a thousand dollars and kind of a unicorn and uh, something that's this which I didn't know what this price was at the time and when I was listening to Michael Jackson a really good recording on this and that and that this sounded really nice and I th was thinking to myself what let, let, let's let's cut the fucking ramble for a little bit and turn this on. Here you go. The the startup time is pretty quick if you're used to the FIO or uh, other device can um, never be the same again. And then it's like got a mirrored image of the text in reverse. Um, this is a homebrew GUI. It's got capacitive if you decide you want to select that. And you can slide through uh, music setting, Bluetooth, system setting, music category, music library, uh, playing now. Go ahead and hit playing now. I got songs, my favorite, recently played, album, genre, artist, playlists, songs, again my favorite, recently played songs, let me go into there. Um, yep, okay, that is what I played recently. I was listening to this earlier which is Neil Young this is a 96 24 bit um, Neil Young I listened to this and I listened to that and I also listened to it across all devices using the same headphones um, that I can switch because they got an adapter to go from single end or balance depending on the device but because this has got single end only everything was listened to with single end um, the difference that that makes is mm, very small. So this thing doesn't have balanced. Is not something that I would consider dinging it for because it's balanced is something that's not even accepted by some people. So you can't you can't ding stuff for that. I love balanced. Uh, I can live without if I have to, and I do sometimes. With this item, I would. Um, now boot down. Hold the button down. There's the earth. Bye bye. You're out of there, and that's it. Bam. The the startup the 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 shutdown is very fast. You've got a EQ. You've got a you've got an AK DAC uh, inside here. Um, you've got filter selections. You've got uh, volume control, max volume when you start up. It's it's. Uh, let me go back in because this is so fast. I can do this multiple times. 
without really slowing down the review itself. Um, when I first heard this thing, I was thinking, is this, uh, is this the answer to a problem, a question that nobody asked? Um, if that makes any sense to you, like, does this have a point? Do people need something like this? And then I got online today after I came back from the beach, um, and I was checking prices online, and I was blown because this is how much I don't pay attention to the threads on HeadFi. I didn't know how much this thing cost. I thought it was about two fifty. Um, this is about two fifty. This is two fifty today on the internet. This is a hundred and fifty on the internet. When I saw that a hundred and fifty dollars for AK DAC. Uh, uh, adequate power stage, EQ, filter selection, uh, capacitive touch, um, you can do custom EQ. The, the, the stuff that you can do with this thing for $150 uh, gain setting, DSD gain compensation, replay gain, EQ, digital filter, play mode, output selection. Let me see if I can go down here more. Uh, Breakpoint resume, gapless, max volume. Um, set up startup volume. This is so that you don't turn it on and blow your your gear. I don't think it has enough power to blow your gear, but it's nice to have this thing be able to control it. Um, balance. You can change the balance of the thing if you're trying to check left and right on your stuff. Um, lyrics. You can do it. It's a little more complicated though from what I've seen. Um, album art. And then you go back to the end hit the button right here which is like a Samsung device which will take you to the prior layer of where you were which is right here um, let me go into playing now go into songs Kendrick Lamar I'm going to this one um, this thing costs hundred and fifty dollars do I wreck it I, I absolutely wreck this item um, if it had cost more money it would be in a bracket with other devices and I would start to consider that it doesn't have balanced yeah it's a whatever that means uh, I actually like it so for me this, this is my channel so I give the recs because I like the item not because the companies let me borrow it or because somebody gave me a discount on it uh, no if I like it I reckon if I don't I don't you'll notice that there's a lot of videos on this channel that I don't talk about recs at all that's because I didn't give it that if, if, if a rec isn't given it's not said and if it's not said I didn't give it. I give this thing the wreck um, for $150. This is like a no-brainer. This has got a, you people say, oh, the iPods and stuff. And yeah, those are actually really nice and they're underrated in an era where people are charging ridiculous amounts. But this is not. This is $150. The screen is adequate. The, so the options are well, far more than you would get with an eye device, uh, and the sound is superior to that too. So, what what would be the weak point of this? Um, so, what is the merit of this? Is so many. Let's let's go. What is the weak point? Um, power, power, which is interesting because a Kayan is known for power. Out of the DX two hundred, which was rated to be some beast, and it wasn't. Um, and I I got paper tests that prove that but what's the point um, unless you want me to make a point um, the Fio X5 Gen 3 not a lot of power uh, DX200 not a lot of power KNI5 shit ton of power um, I, I was doing base demos with the KNI5 DAP without a, 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 a an amp so I didn't wreck that item because I didn't like it because you had to do your like touch that and touch that and you missed it and touch that and you switch your screen it it, it it was a if you could increase the font but you need a bigger screen the i5 and also I thought it sounded uh, I just so I'll get off the i5 I didn't like it um, however I did love the KNC 5 amp so KN is a company and I'll tell you another thing I actually really kicked the the i5 and yet when this company's doing their tour uh, I didn't get any crap about oh you know we can't we can't do this for you or these are my fingers all busted up from boxing today just in case you're like why is his hands all messed up because I, I I box every day um, this is hundred fifty dollars in an era where they charge hundreds of dollars for what is the difference between the sound quality of an iPod or an iDevice and the thousand dollar item is almost 
impossible to explain and or hear. The DX200 was a disaster, uh, in my opinion. Absolutely neutered, flat, unnatural sound that you wouldn't get in a live show, you wouldn't get in a car or a home audio system. It was absolutely unique to the device, and I, I, I find it to be horrible. Um, the i5 was something that I thought was... Uh, it sounded like there was a little, just a pinch of reverb in the device, which is hard to hard to explain, but that's what it sounded like, and I didn't like it. Uh, and then to to kill it was the, the 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 touch on a small screen. It just it wasn't working for me. This is not a touch screen. This has got uh, touch navigation one two three four plus the pretty much the active. It's also got. Uh, previous next and it's got the volume on the side um, for $150 I absolutely wrecked this this thing sounds really nice if you're totally in the balance and you think balance is so important and I do this is maybe not something that you would be interested in unless you got single-ended adapters or you can change your cables if you're totally on the balance train this would not really be an option for you um, but in the early you, you know in this price range there's not a lot of options for you the, you could get this but this is a whole different this is a whole different animal and I'll talk about that later um, Andy Kong is a guy uh, that works or reps Kayan um, and uh, He's a, he's a decent dude. So you've got an item that is well priced. Um, it does everything you would really want it to do. And if you have an issue, there is a person who you can contact. Good luck with Onkyo or Pioneer. I live in Japan, man, and the people talk about how they like the Onkyo and the Pioneer. If you got an issue with Onkyo, contact them and tell me what they said. Because I've done stuff like that, and I live in this country, and they're... They're just not really there. They push out products by the masses, um, multiple versions of the same item, and getting feedback or uh, contact from them is very, very, very difficult. And they're massive companies. This is a smaller company. Uh, it's offering you the price of a massive company like an iDevice where they can sell so many items that they can make their overhead slightly smaller um, and still function as a company. This is a company that's not that big. Uh, and it's offering a device for $150 that doesn't have any clear weak point. I, I wish it had more power, but look at the size of it. What do you want from the thing? It's It, it, it will push most IEMs. It'll push a lot of headgear. If you're getting into stuff that's kind of big on the head and requires a lot of juice, you wouldn't be using this anyway. So the target audience for this K&N3 are people, I think, mostly with the IEMs and over ears that are um, not really hard to drive. And you should be fine. If you put this thing in high gain, the problem with high gain is when you increase the noise flow, you increase the, the, the total harmonic distortion. And that exists generally mostly in the low sub-frequencies. So if you listen to bassy music um, and you're on high gain uh, with listening to a higher volume, the quality of the sound that you're playing back is not going to be optimal. So what is the point really? So you, you wouldn't want to set this to high gain. So this is not something designed for um, hungry over ears. Outside of that, this will do everything with everything. This is a very nice item. Um, so I got to say thank you to Andy and the gang. Um, I don't think there is a gang. I think there's Andy um, for allowing me to participate in this tour. Um, I'm not saying anything on this tour with hopes of being within one in the future because who cares, man? Um, you, 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 the relationship that you have today could be broken in a week and for reasons that you might not even know and you make new relations. At the, you know, I, I might have a new connection tomorrow. You can't, you can't give up your credibility for something that is imagined in the future because it just doesn't work that way. I've been on HeadFi long enough to know that these companies come and go. Um, the people that rep them come and go and the connections that they have with people are just too hard to get a read on. I'm saying that I wrecked this item because it's $150. I just checked. $150 for the N3, $250 for the M1S, $400 for the X53. Um, $150 well spent. As typical, I rambled on a lot. Um, I listened to Tupac. Um, I did a video before of the music that I listened to to judge America, um, Tin Man. 
um, I'm listening for the triangle strike around 30 seconds um, over the hills and far away uh, about three minutes and a half in where it starts panning left and right really wide um, Bonzo does the the gong hit and everything starts splashing left and right um, I listen to uh, Pink Floyd on the run um, for stage and panning and uh, th 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 this thing didn't really display any weakness like oh this is a little boxed in or oh this is you know slightly lacking dynamics or no, there was nothing to there was really nothing to to say okay yeah that 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 would be a problem there is nothing there this is the most blah review I think I've ever done and for a person that likes to find the weak point and just harp the hell out of it that's pretty good. If I'm the company, I'm happy to get out of this without any big problem. Um, 150 bucks. Yeah, I'd wreck this. I, I am wrecking this. If you got, if you want something balanced, isn't required. You want something that's got enough power to drive most IEMs, including BAs. Um, this will do that, and it's got a lot of options in it, and uh, it's got a company with a face or a name, Andy Kong. And if you've got an issue, you can contact him. If he doesn't reply to you, go to Open Thread and say he didn't reply to you, and then he'll reply to you because he didn't. He missed you because he's got tons of people to deal with or, um, you know, life happens. Uh, but you will get a response from this company if you buy this item and if there's something wrong with it out of the box or if there's some issue that is preventing you from enjoying your music. Uh, Andy Kong is somebody that you can get in touch with and he will, if it's a fixable thing, he will fix it uh, because he's a smart business guy. So I wreck the device and I wreck it because it's a good device. It's well priced and it's backed up by people that will take care of you if you have any issue. So the KNN3, um, I wreck it. It's very, very nice. Good job. Okay, this is the KNN3. Uh, it's their new budget DAP portable music player, like an iPod on steroids, um, higher quality equipment, um, people say. Uh, and uh, usually more or less options depending on the company what they want to do but its price range uh, is in the budget area 250 and below I'll give an exact price uh, when I do the full review this is pretty much the unboxing which will be at the end of the video that I do which will be an impressions video um, some specs I, I took this out of the wrapper a few seconds ago um, so it, it, this is a retail version back of the box um, AKM DAC AK4490. I believe this is the same one that is in the. Um, there's there's different versions of that. The the EQ, the N. I'm not sure exactly which one this is, or if it's just a straight out AK4490. Um, high resolution lossless music player, spit if out, USB Type C, uh, DSD, native output, 64, 128, 256 uh, TF card up to 256 gigabyte. USB DAC digital out and uh, uh, Bluetooth 4.0. Um, the box is economical. Uh, I would say maybe identical to the file box um, in every dimension. This is basically a lot of stuffs coming in this box. Who cares? Uh, it's not wasting any space whatsoever. It's not wasting trees. Um, and I'm I'm a animal and nature lover, so well, you know extra cardboard is save a tree man and, and 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 pack it as minimal as possible they do it for money uh but i like to see it anyway so you don't need anything bigger than this so don't uh cool this is the trend and it's a good trend turn the box up and over and pull it out Holy crap. Um, pops out. Oh. Oh, okay. The, I, I took this out of a retail pack, and it's got crap all over the screen. And I thought that this was the way that it came. There's scratches and there's finger stuff all over it. And... Um, Oh, here we go. All right.
there's actually a spot right there if you can see that which might be under another thing but there's a there's a slight dot if you can see it right there at the bottom corner of the screen and it's not this because I'm pulling this back so um, it looks like a camera for Christ's sakes that's kind of trippy I'm gonna take a look at that later um, or it's an imperfection with the the screen not sure um, in the hand feels uh, feels good uh, it's light it's very small it reminds me of a slightly thicker iPod Nano um, it's got a very nice bounce it's not too heavy it's not too light doesn't feel cheap um, there's nothing shaking none of the buttons are now if I did this with the file there would be a slight rattling and if I did this with the uh, AU and M1S that I'm going to review there's a lot of noise going on with that thing this has none this is a nice tight solid build uh, in the hand it feels um, comes with that there's another box inside here take that out and uh, got a rubber cover and the USB type C I'm sure it's a data and charging cable so that you can drag and drop your music and also charge the device uh, instructions uh, high-res stickers and also another um, screen cover screen protector so pretty standard stuff uh, as far as what's included you got everything you need to get up and go um, and that is very brief unboxing I'm gonna do something very very quick because this is tripping me out a little bit which is th that thing so I'm gonna one centimeter zoom on this because I just got this and if there's an imperfection I want it to not be okay, this is a one centimeter zoom and this is on the screen it's not a bubble it's Maybe it's detecting the outside light so it adjusts the screen or something. I'm not really sure. It almost looks like a camera. It's pretty trippy. Um, again, it's not a bubble. This is the screen cover right here. And this is a... Uh, don't know what that is. Maybe I'll check the thread. I really don't know about this device that much. Um, and figure out exactly what that is. So I figure I'll add that in there. And the cover goes back on. So it's actually under the cover. No idea what that is.